Good morning, good morning, everyone. Uh, I was up very late last night, so I slept in a little bit today. Slept in until like 9.30, so it's about 10.48 right now. I'm making myself some breakfast. Then I have some work to get ready, because this is year six of daily vlogging. Okay, I just scrunched my hair like that. It has movement to it. I just don't know how it's gonna dry. But we're just gonna let it air dry because, yeah. It also looks really dark right now. It looks like a dark brown, and it's not a light brown, but it's not dark dark, so. All right, I have anola. Um, but I am, I made the tough decision <sighs> to cancel my reservation at um, Operation Christmas Child both today and for the rest of the three times that I had it booked for Friday of this week and Tuesday and Friday of Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. And it's because they, you know, the there's the Omicron variant now, which I am less concerned about since I'm fully vaccinated and with the booster shot. However, um the Operation Christmas Child location is indoors. Um it's a large like warehouse and social distancing isn't really a thing a thing and masks are not required and masks were not worn by a lot of people. I wore mine, but I was like, you know, I just have a lot coming up. I have filming this weekend. I have filming next weekend. And then I'm flying to Texas for Christmas right after. And then I have a wedding on the 30th and then I'm going to Disney on the 31st and the 1st. So <laughs> I'm like, you know, there is just a lot coming up that I really do not want to put myself in any sort of situation that I don't need to be in, except for the, you know, being on set where everyone, I mean, the, the show I'm on tomorrow, everyone cast and crew has to be fully vaccinated. And we all did a COVID test yesterday and guy got mine back and it's negative. And we might even have to test again tomorrow. Um, so I don't know, but either way, like those are the areas, like I'm more comfortable going in those areas, but you know, it was a bummer. I really wanted to volunteer so much because I love it so much, but I'm just like, it's not worth the risk. Okay, so I am in the car because I need to pick up sweets and stuff for the one class that has their parent-teacher conferences or not their, their thing. The parents are coming in to watch it tomorrow, um, watch the class. So I need to get stuff for them. But the thing is, is that I actually need to go... <laughs> To Kroger twice because the stuff I need to get for me needs to be refrigerated and I would prefer or frozen um, so I would prefer to not have to get those things when um, they have to sit in the car for like half an hour I'm sure they would be fine but I really don't want to take that risk so I'm going to Kroger now to get the stuff that um, I need to bring to AWP and then I will go again when I'm driving back and get that stuff too or get the stuff for me so I am uh I sent out the email that I needed to send out for the uh the project on Sunday which is good um and yeah I gotta make sure I definitely get a good night's sleep of night whoa a good night's sleep tonight because I did not go to bed until like 2 a.m. yesterday because that's how long we were playing the game and then the others left around that time and so yeah it was like two o'clock in the morning when I was actually going to bed and then I woke up at like 9 30 so I got a decent amount of sleep but not what I'm used to <laughs> I don't typically go to bed at 2 a.m. so I'm really hoping now I'm like double hoping that my call time is not insanely early tomorrow morning because yeah then I'll have to sometimes you don't get your call time stuff until like 10 p.m. so we'll we'll see we'll see how that goes I'm just really glad that it should be fairly obvious that we are inside we will not be holding should not be outside which is my main concern so I don't know what it is but I'm just in a weird I'm in a weird mood today like I'm not, not in a bad mood, but I'm not normal. Like I don't feel 
like the neutral, you know, that I normally am, which neutral typically borders on, you know, good, like fine. Um, I don't know. Something's weird. I don't, and I don't know what it is. I can't, I can't figure it out. So I guess, I guess I'll just deal with it. <laughs> I'm also stuck in traffic right now and I have no idea what's going on up here. I may have already said that. I may have literally just said that. But if I did, I, I don't remember. I don't know. I thought the light was green. What is happening right now? I The little shortcut that I usually take was closed, so they must be doing something. But our light is still green. I get, and There might be someone. I guess there must be someone directing up here. Maybe that's why. But this doesn't help my weird mood. I might get myself something to eat for lunch that might fix my person. That was the other side of the road, but okay. Because, um, you know food helps. It's not a good way to solve problems, but it wouldn't be solving a problem. It would just be maybe getting me out of my weird mood. Okay, so I did go get myself lunch, and I think I have figured out why I'm off today. And the one thing is, of course, staying up till 2 a.m. last night. I'm tired, you know. I'm not like I could fall asleep right now tired, but I am like I'm excited to go to sleep tonight, tired. Um, <clears throat> and then the other thing is changing my plans about Operation Christmas Child. Like, even though it was my decision to change them, still sort of, you know, it was a plan that changed. And so that also meant that I changed when I was going to the store to get the things for AWP. So that was like, it, it wasn't just like, oh, I don't think it's like, I don't think it's worth the risk to go volunteer tonight. It was, I don't think it's worth the risk to go volunteer tonight, which means that then I have to change when I need to go to the store and then therefore go to AWP. And so like, yeah, I think it was just that as well. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna let myself chill for the day. I'm gonna read or watch something, whatever I feel like, and make sure that I keep an eye out for my, um, that I keep an eye out for my call time and all that stuff for tomorrow, but that I also go to bed early. That's for sure. That definitely needs to happen. Just got, just got my call time for tomorrow, which is 8 a.m. and it is 10 p.m. So this is obviously a show that's like, oh yeah, 10 hour turnaround literally only 10 hours in between if they wrapped like at 10 p.m. tonight it, this is precisely why the union or one of the unions is fighting for longer breaks in between because for those crew members that's insane anyway so I need to thankfully my wardrobe isn't super complicated but I need to get that together I need to take I just put some of my clothes in the washer which I need to switch them to the dryer um pick out what outfit I'm gonna wear tomorrow morning which might include some of the jeans that are in there but yeah gotta put that together quickly and then head to bed because I think I need to wake up I've probably at like 6 15 okay so I've got my stuff packed wardrobe was not too difficult which is great sorry Nola um and then I just got an email so like 40 minutes after my first one was sent my call time got changed to 9 30 which is great that's a little bit later however now I am so paranoid that they're gonna change it again so I was originally going to wake up at 6 anyway, so I'm going to set an alarm for 6 so I can check just really, really quick. <sighs> Maybe I'll set it for even earlier than that. I mean, I don't think they'd go back to earlier. If anything, I do. they think they'd do later. Maybe I'll set an alarm for like 5. I'll set an alarm for 5, quickly check it. If they haven't set anything, then just go back to sleep and wake up at 7.30? 7 15 something like that I need to leave here at 8 so I have an hour and a half to get there but I'm also afraid that's not enough time so we'll see anyway thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed all my social media is in the description love you all